to Loud and Swain. We're a rock band. We play in Los Angeles, California. I want to thank you guys for coming down to support live music right here in Los Angeles right now. Let's get a big round of applause. Gentlemen, put your hands together for Loud and Swain. This is Norton. He plays the drums. This is Borja. I talk. He plays, he plays the bass guitar. This is Billy. He plays lead. And I'm Rob, and I sing and play rhythm and whatnot. And uh, I'm fucking free balling it. The songs tend to be a lot about um, our own experiences and just about the stuff that we've gone through. Like we wrote a lot on this record about uh, about like dealing with crappy bosses and, and uh, dealing with relationships and that kind of thing. So it's like try to try to write from actual experiences. We try to write music that like would have the listener saying like, oh yeah, that, that happens to me. That, Holy fucking happened to me last week, and you know, with a little bit of a sense of humor, kind of a dark, edgy sense of humor about it. This next song comes out to everybody who's got a day job. It's fucking tired of working for the man. This is fuck it. I'm gonna party on a work night. This song's called Rock Song. There's a song we're, we're, we really like playing right now, it's on the new record that we just made called uh, Rock Song. And it's uh, it's about like, uh, you know, having like a, just a boring 9 to 5 job and um, blowing off steam on a work night. It was actually one of the songs that really made us seek out Billy because, uh, you know, it's like we, we had layered so much in the way of guitars that, uh, that we, you know, that was one of the songs we were like, man, we're gonna have to get another guitar player. So that was like, that was sort of the catalyst that brought Billy over to us as well. So. A few months ago we entered this contest. And uh, the contest was write a song for the upcoming movie Snakes on a Plane. And we're going to be on the soundtrack to Snakes on a Plane. So yeah, I guess a lot of people ask me about my acting stuff when I'm, you know, when they find out I'm in a band and people always say like, what, you know, which would you rather do? But I, I always think, I always feel like it's like the same thing. It's all just sort of an extension of, I guess, being an artist that, I don't know if that's, is that, is that, yeah? I don't want to be like, and I'm in a movie. <laughs> a little movie you might have seen <laughs> called, uh, go Google me, Google me. <laughs> When we're, you know, because we've had this happen where we're sitting at, um, we're sitting at a show waiting to, uh, waiting to go on, and somebody will come up to Rob and they'll go, "Hey, man, you look really familiar. Did did you go to did you go to high school with me?" And then Rob's like, "No, uh, no, I, I don't know. Where'd you go to school?" And then they spend ten minutes trying to figure out where they know him from, and then they go, "Oh, wait a minute." <laughs> That's that guy that was in waiting. <laughs> you know, sometimes it backfires. You got to be careful because I've had been in situations where people are like, "Hey man, I know you from something, man. I know you from something." I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe like Felicity or like the movie Waiting, and they're like, "No, no, man, no. We we totally fucking <laughs> waited tables together. You no, asshole. man. <laughs> we went to high school together, prick. <laughs> Get over yourself. I don't give a shit." <laughs>
tie. Get it today. iTunes. <laughs> On loudandswain.com as well. Also loudandswain.com, yeah. that's right. <laughs> uh, so let's go get drunk. Get drunk? Who's drunk already? Anybody? <laughs>